The latest version of the Valhalla Combat mod currently uploaded to Tez Nexus is version 1.3.2. Creator Dtai has been updating Valhalla Combat, focusing on bug fixes, compatibility improvements, A support, and numerical improvements in various items. Among the improvements made so far, I will explain the parts that I think are subjective but important. First, the stamina recovery function of enemies added in version 1.2. The Valhalla Combat mod encourages loopholes when an enemy or player's stamina drops to zero, and if enemies don't regain stamina, enemies will continue to be exhausted, which can make the game boring. In response to this, the creators have fixed that exhausted actors will regain stamina when attacked, and stagger when trying to block them. The second function is the commitment function. The higher the commitment value, the more the block state is maintained even if you try to deactivate the block. To put it simply, there will be people who have easily time blocked by clicking the right mouse button very quickly and repeatedly to keep the block unblock block unblock state. This is in fact not intended to be time blocking in nature and is not immersive at all. In fact, it is impossible to repeat raising and lowering the shield like that. Now, you will have to forcefully practice true time blocking through the commitment function. Commitment can be turned on and off in Valhalla Combat's MCM's time block category, and you can choose the commitment level as well. The Valhalla Combat mod is a great mod that revolutionizes the way Skyrim combat works. Creator D try is perfecting the Valhalla Combat mod through steady updates, so please support him more. This concludes all the report videos on the recent changes to the Valhalla Combat mod. Thank you very much for watching the video till the end. Subscriptions, likes and notification settings are very helpful for channel growth. See you next time.